beautiful Saturday. Well, it's almost time to say goodbye to the RevTech. We were about to say goodbye, and then some crazy things happened. It is now a week later since I had decided that I was going to replace the RevTech with the 5950X and the B550 motherboard. However, some things happened. I got the whole thing set up. I got it off our workbench. I got it up here. Got it mounted. I put our, I put our uh, splitters in place. And we got it all booted up. It read all the GPUs. And then some weird things started happening. This was last Saturday night or last Sunday, I believe it was. And it just so happened that updating the miner caused me a ton of problems. In fact, I thought I had a hard drive that went out. So I spent hours trying to figure out what was going on. And here it was the miner in Hive OS was not, it wasn't right. It was messed up. So I kept getting all kinds of errors. The, the catastrophic part to that is I learned a lesson. I learned a huge lesson. And that's going to be coming up in my next video. Because, wow, what a mistake that I made. And as I said on this channel, I'm learning. I'm learning with you guys. Um, let's just say I'll give you a little hint. Always make sure you back up your wallets. Let's just say I had 28,000 Raptorium on the line. And some things went haywire in the middle of me replacing the hard drive that I thought was bad, that wasn't bad, uh, because I couldn't get Hive to boot. All right, I, you know, Hive OS just would not, no matter what I do, what I did, I couldn't get a connection. I could change my overclocks, I could do whatever I wanted to, but it wasn't happening. So, right now. We've got the RevTech hooked back up at this moment, okay? We will be saying goodbye since I figured out what was going on. It wasn't anything that I was doing. Um, it was just that uh, <laughs> that update that kind of threw things crazy. Um, and I guess I wasn't the only one. A ton of people uh, was having the same problem. So I had to mount it back up there temporarily um, until I get some time to mess with it. In the meantime, I went ahead and put the 5950X and the B550 on Windows because I wanted to do some more testing. Um, right now, I think I've got the 5950X uh, unhappy. Okay, We're going to look at some of our, our settings here, and right now I'm using the Ryzen Master. It's been running this way now for, I don't know, three or four days. I went and tuned it, and I I finally went ahead and bit the bullet and, and did the update, uh, the CPU minor update. Um, I don't see any significant changes. I know some people have said that they uh, have seen some, some changes, but I'm not seeing anything. Um, I got this thing overclocked. I got it all core at 4100 right now, and when I say it's unhappy, I'll kind of show you here. You can see our TDC our EDC and CPU power are, are there in the red. Okay. Um, I've got it. I've got it at 1.2 volts. Okay. And what I'm going to try to do today is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lower the voltage and lower the overclocks. And I believe, I think I might have the RAM set at 3,600 in here. I think I'm just going to let it do its thing and we're going to we're going to take it down to we're going to try to get it to one volt and see what it does. Um, I haven't had good results with this 5950X doing that. Um, some of my other CPUs I do. Uh, the 5900X, I don't, that one don't have a problem. Um, the 3900X don't have a problem. But if you found 
some really good settings for the 5950X using Ryzen Master until I get this switch back over to uh, Hive OS. I'd be interested to see what your 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 uh, settings are down in the comments if you could. Um, but right now, I've got it on uh, Flockpool, and so far I've been impressed. You know, they they do payouts at night and in the morning. And I don't have a bunch of, I was on uh, our pool there, our Supernova, Supernova is what I was on. Man, started having problems and I wasn't getting payouts. And next thing you know, I'm like, you know what, I've had enough of this. And then I seen Flock Pool pop up there. So I jumped in it and said, what the heck, let's give it a shot. And so far, it's, it's given me my biggest payouts and it's been steady. I mean, very steady. So, but we'll get over to the computer here. Kind of want to show you what the, what it's with these current settings where it's at, and we'll be right back. Before we get over there, I wanted to show you real quick uh, the cards that we have on here. We've got uh, two 5700 XTs, two 488 gigabyte Red Devils, and two 580 8 gigabytes but this one right here is not on there right now i'm using this to mess around on the uh 5950x mining raptorium this guy right here is going to be the death of me this 5700 xt for some reason i've replaced the fans twice and it just, no matter what I do, continually runs hot. I've replaced the pads twice. I have, uh, <laughs> I, I have done everything I know what to do. This is an FX, uh, XFX version that, no matter what I do, it runs hot. This thing constantly runs from 102 to 106 degrees. Um, I call it my bastard card because it's a uh, it's a hot mess. In fact, I have finally came to the conclusion that I'm just going to burn it down. I really I'm at the point where I don't know what else to do with it. Uh, I've changed the thermal paste. I've went to good thermal paste, bad thermal paste. I've kind of I've tried it all. Um, if you got any suggestions on what what the possibility could possibly be wrong with it please comment on there um, it's been an insane card but let's get over to the computer all right guys we are back hopefully our microphone's not too loud and just loud enough all right so here is our rep deck that we were supposed to have already replaced and i know the title says so and I did. In fact, I made the title when I had it up and running on the B550. Um, but like I said, we we experienced some catastrophic problems over last weekend. Um, and and basically, what it was was the CPU miner version. Okay, I updated the version in Hive. I think it was Saturday night or. Yeah, I think it was Saturday night. And started getting all these crazy errors. It wouldn't mind. So I thought, I even went back, tried to go back to a previous version, and it wouldn't let me. And then it got to where I couldn't even connect to Hive. So I logged into the miner, and it, it kept freezing. So I thought to myself, okay, maybe I have a hard drive that's failing. Um, so I went ahead and I decided I was going to format the hard drive or get a new, use a new hard drive um, and try that. So here's where the catastrophic thing happened. It was something stupid that I did. I've got two drives in my workstation PC here. 
I've got a drive that uh, I use my all my daily stuff on, and then I got a drive that I use for storage. And on that drive, I have my Raptorium Core wallet, my Hivecoin wallet, my Ravencoin Lite wallet. Now, at some point, when I started mining Raptorium, I never uh, once thought about, uh, and, and I don't know why it sounds so stupid, but I never once thought to back it up. Um, I never thought anything about encryption. And boy, did I learn a lesson. And it's crazy, you know, Rabbit Mining just did a video not long ago about how to recover your wallet. But what had happened was, is I started to format the hard drive that I wasn't supposed to. And how it happened was, is they were the same exact size and I wasn't paying attention to the drive letter. And I was frustrated. I was ticked off. I had done spent hours trying to figure out why and what in the world was going on here to come find out it wasn't me it was actually hive os and them updating the miner here's the here's where it gets even worse is the next that day i was supposed to donate 2000 raptorium to rabid mining his 10000 subscriber party <laughs> yeah you want to talk about sick to your stomach. You know, I never said anything to him because I, I didn't have to pay it out to the next day, but I ended up having to go on Trade Ogre and buy 2,000 Raptorium using Litecoin. So I was totally disgusted. Totally disgusted. So throughout all this, after I'm sitting there looking at the drive, there's no way to recover those. If you haven't backed that thing up, you're not, you're not, you've lost that wallet. I even reached out to Charlie at Raptorium and asked him, is there any way that we can recover this thing? And he told me, without those files, you're screwed, which totally my fault. So I had a, a week worth of learning you know 28,000 raptorium um, gone but here's the good news guys you're not gonna believe it I recovered it it took me four days but I recovered those wallets and the way I did it will blow your mind because it blew my mind I in fact it it kind of scared me a little bit because it got me thinking, like, if I can do that, who else can do that? You know? So, I mean, that's maybe I exposed a flaw. Who knows? But in my next video, I'm going to show how I did it. And I think it's important to, for people to know that if you forward about a hard drive, stop what you're doing. And do what I do in my next video. Hopefully, I can get it out this week uh, so that you can see how I did it. But uh, back to our red tech here. Here is here's that 5700 XT that I was talking about. 104. Now I, I'm hearing this is a common problem with these two cards. I bought these two cards. They were probably. Mm, back-to-back -back weeks just so you know everybody I started my I started my mining with these RX 480s and 580s these Polaris cards that's how I started my mining adventure that was the first rig that I built um, I've got another one I got another 580 that like I showed you guys just sitting up there right now but um, I bought all those cards that came with that RevTech motherboard I bought somebody else that was selling that whole rig um, and that's how I got started. But this 5700 XT, no matter what I do to it, 
I mean, I've I've put new fans in it. I've I've changed the thermal pads. I've uh, changed the thermal paste. I've pretty much done everything that I can think of to this thing. If you got any ideas, man, please drop some comments down below because in an upcoming video, I'd like to tear it back apart and let's see what we can do to it. I don't know. I, maybe try some different size thermal pads. Maybe the ones that were in it. This was a used card when I bought it, by the way, and so was this one. Um, this thing will, I mean, it's obviously, it, it's, ther it's thermal throttling because if it gets down to around 102, and it does sometimes, you know, when on cool nights, it'll get down to 102. I've I've gotten it down to 100 before. It will go up to 52. Um, but when it's running like this, it stays down here around 45. I have been, a, I have found a way to lower the overclocks, to lower the temperature some. Um, but of course, you know, you lose mega hash. I've came to the conclusion I will burn this thing down. Um, if that's what it is, it is what it is. I, I hate it, but I'm going to get my money out of it. Let's just put it that way. Um, I've, I've even tried less voltage. I've tried raise, right, raising the voltage, and that's what I'm stuck with. Um, so, but this week we will be pulling these off the RevTech. Right now, though, I was constant. I want to concentrate on the on the 5950X um, because I want to find out what its optimal settings are. I've got all of my all of my CPUs on flock pool right now, and so far I am impressed. Um, it has been the most stable for me. I have had the least amount of uh, rejected shares here. And the payouts are on point. They do it every morning and every night. And every time they've paid out, everything looks like it should. Um, I haven't had any disconnections or any of those problems. The 5900X is averaging about 3.28. Now, that is my, uh, my gaming PC. So this one is, uh, I keep this one in my office. It's, it's off and on. Um, 59 50x i've got it at 4.01 kill hash and right now like i said, showed you in rise of master it looks pretty un unhappy um so we're going to play around a little bit maybe back that ram down and, and lower the overclock some and see how much we lose this is where it's been for four or five days uh around four to 4.1 4.2 .1, 4 it's about the highest i've seen it um but it it, it goes back and forth uh, this right here is our little i5 uh, that's got all the 6600 XTs on it. And this right here is our little 3300X. I have had this thing up to 1.5, and I backed it down because it, it was running it pretty hard. Um, was getting a lot of stale shares and rejected shares on it. This workstation here, this is our this is our, what we're on right now. Um, in fact, this is what we're recording on right now. That little bad dude is a 3900X, and I'll tell you what, if I buy any more CPUs, I'm buying the 3900Xs. I'm skipping all of these. Uh, you know, you figure this 5950X is 700 bucks. I can buy two of these. I can buy two of these. To me, that just makes way more financial sense. Um, I have had the 5950X up to 5 kilohash, um, but it's sporadic. It's very sporadic. Um, so far, like I said, flock pool's been pretty good. Uh, it's been stable, and I like it. Uh, over here, I'll show you the, and some people are going to wonder too, as far as the wattages go, and and some of my overclocks. I like stability. I will trade wattage for stability any day. I've learned that. It's just my personal preference. I will give up 20, 30, 40 watts here. Um, and not have to worry about them. I like that. Uh, same thing with um, the 6600 XTs. This right here, 64, 65, I've gotten them down to 45, 48, uh, 49, and I find a lot of instability. I'm getting 32 and a half on most of them, and they just run. I've got the least amount of fuss with these eight cards right here least amount i never have problems with them they just mine and and i like that but getting a little long-winded but I, I just wanted to show that we can get rid of the rev tech 
Um, and just so everybody knows, I know we're far, we're far away from this, but when I get to my 1,000 subscribers, because, man, I, I really do want to do some live streaming, um, that's kind of going to be um, what I like to do the most. Uh, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a pretty good giveaway. Um, so for the sub thousand subscriber giveaway, um, I'm thinking like a uh, 12 GPU mining rig. I've got one that uh, I tried out. I, I like I like using the wire racks better. My my personal self because my GPUs are all set up in my garage. Um, I've got a, a a water filter on my air compressor. I can roll them over to my garage door, open it up, blow them all out, clean everything out, and roll them back plug them back in easy peasy um so with the racks I, and, and here's the other thing too is i like to do so much testing and playing around i didn't like pulling them out of the out of the racks all the time but we will be giving that away it's pretty much brand new um there's some there's some other things that i've, I've got in the works uh, that we'll also be giving away i also uh I'm going to have another upcoming video about some uh, different GPU hangers that I tried out, and I really, really like them, and I'm going to recommend those to everybody. Really nice stuff. But that's it for today's, guys. If you guys have any comments, concerns, questions, please leave them down in the uh, comments below. Um, if you guys know the answer to any of those questions, please help me out, man. That 5700 XT, whew, my lord, that thing is a headache. Uh, got any suggestions? I'd appreciate it. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you soon.